Computers and other devices use IP addresses to identify each other on the Internet. As we can't always remember complicated numbers, we use words instead. The domain name system brings the two together to get you to your destination. This is how it works. All around us we see domain names, for example the website of your favorite band. The site is stored somewhere on the Internet. Let me explain how your PC finds it within milliseconds. The journey starts with typing in the website address. In words, of course, as you wouldn't have remembered IP 88.151.243.8. Your device will read the address backwards. It will start at the end with the root domain, in our case, .eu. Information on the root domains is stored in 13 different root servers located around the world. In reality, there are numerous more copies of each of these machines in different locations to make sure that whatever happens, the system will keep on working. A root server contains the information on the name servers for the different zones. In our case, it tells us where we can find the information on addresses ending with .eu. Again, for reasons of security, there are a number of these .eu name servers located around the world, so that if one is too busy or stops working, for example, due to an earthquake, the information would still be reachable elsewhere. The .eu name server knows where the information for the more than 3 million .eu addresses is stored and will tell us where we can find flamingflamingos.eu. It will communicate this unique IP address. The IP address for the Flaming Flamingos website is now identified and sent to your computer. Now the download of the content can start. But remember, this whole process that makes it possible to connect your computer to the place where the website is stored happens in just a few milliseconds before it connects to the internet and starts downloading the information. In reality, a lot of information is stored along the road in the so-called cache memories so that the information can be retrieved faster than having to return to the root every time. This movie is brought to you by Centre, the organisation of European country code top-level domains.